What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. If you guys are not aware yet, I did manage to play the alpha version of this game and it was only available for PS4 and PS5. I managed to play this game on PS5 and I'm 10 a year right now. It's literally a reskin of Modern Warfare just with World War II assets to be honest. So if you already play Modern Warfare, you already played the game because this game has already been confirmed by Chartantil.com and by several others that this game was already made on the Modern Warfare engine, which is not bad to be honest, because Modern Warfare over there is really stable. I love it. I love the, the game. I did pretty well. So now imagine in a World War II setting. I mean, I'll probably be doing the same way. So um, like to be honest, right off the bat, I can see clearly down the field compared to Cold War. Cold War, I am super afraid to flank enemies. I don't know why, but more than likely because I, I shoot first and then I die first. Like it happens so many freaking times. And they don't even see me, but it just I just shoot them first, they turn around and they kill me. I'm like, what the hell just happened, you know? So that's a common thing in Cold War. But in this type of game, like in Modern Warfare and, and Call of Duty Vanguard, I mean, I flank them, I get the advantage, and I win the gunfight. So that's how it's supposed to be. I like this game a lot like that already. So another thing is about the lag issues. Maybe I got lag like one out of 15 matches, which is super good. That means the internet is super consistent in this game. It's well optimized. So I'm not sure how it's going to be once we get into cross gen, you know, once we get into cross play and all that stuff uh, with the Xbox players and the PC. I was a little bit upset about that because I, I already wanted to test it out. How is it going to be with other consoles playing against each other and all that stuff? Because, you know, if we don't get the full product right now, I'm not going to be ready for it once the full game releases. So we got to wait till the full game releases or until the beta to really see how crossplay is going to work and how laggy the issues are going to be, you know. So uh, we still haven't received the full game. This is just a taste, but only on the PlayStation side. This is like without crossplay. So, so yeah, because, you know, the, the alpha version was only available on PS5 and PS4. So um, another thing that I want to talk about is about the weapons. They are impactful. They can actually kill people. Unlike Cold War, where it takes you more than half a mag with all the SMGs, this game actually does damage. It's amazing. I like it. You know, none of this BS, like, I shoot first and I die first. You know, none of that. Maybe there were some few moments, but it was because it was a very, very close encounter. I mean, he kind of already saw me, like, in the corner of the eye, and yes, I did die first sometimes. But it's not a common thing like it was in Cold War. So that's already like already like that about this game, you know. I do have some advantage when it comes down to flanking. So besides all that, um, there is destructible walls. I like that. <laughs> it changes the tides of the games. I mean, just watch the gameplay in the background. I just broke the wall. I saw a ladder. I'm like, oh, I never seen this before. I'm okay. I already see the whole field now. So um, it changes the flow of the map a lot. It really does, which is a big plus for me. I like Rainbow Six Siege. So hey. Why not bring those elements to Call of Duty how it's supposed to be? And like literally in Cold War over there, or in Modern Warfare even, you can shoot through a two-inch freaking plywood, like two-inch thick plywood, and people will not get damaged unless you have FMJ on Modern Warfare. But Cold War doesn't have FMJ, so people will still don't take any damage be between like wood sets. So it's really stupid. Like <laughs> I'm like really surprised how wood cannot be penetrated if they're two inches thick or even one inch you know that's that thin you know so um in this game though it's super different you can break down a whole wooden stand with whatever weapon you want so you don't need fmj maybe lmgs do bigger damage and all that stuff but like man it's incredible i like it i like that they're putting more realism into these types of games so it keeps cold it keeps call of duty very fresh and very like um, you know setting it up with new features and all that stuff so it's really exciting to be honest it's really exciting it may be the same product you know you just go out there and kill but they're adding cool features along the way so i like it you know i'm glad they're trying to really focus into upgrading this game unlike cold war which was a total failure to be honest they should have never released that game it was horrible so um anyways so I already talked about the guns, I already talked about how it feels, you know, it's very impactful, it does do the damage, none of that is jumpy jumpy bullshit that I've seen so far from Fortnite players, I mean, you can kill them pretty easily. The time to kill in this game is pretty low, so it's pretty much standing by the realism of, you know, of how you kill people in real life, so, um, which is okay, man, I like it. 
I like it a lot. None of that BS from, from Fortnite players, you know, <laughs> jumping around and drop shotting and all that crap. Like, they get away for so much stuff. So, anyways, that is it, guys. I want to talk about today. I really like the mode, uh, alpha version. I gave it an eight out of ten. Um, I do expect a lot from a six v six version because the beta. That's what it's going to contain. It's going to be mostly six v six maps. I'm hoping we do get a taste of the ground war mode though, because that's what I'm looking forward to. So. We'll see what's up with that. So that is it, guys. It's an amazing mode. Hopefully, it does upgrade along the way. Hopefully, we do get more updates and stuff. So I can't wait to buy the game, to be honest. I already have it pre-ordered. So that is it. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys later.